Pretty amazing that Operation Breakthrough started 50 years ago. What makes it really unique is the fact that we provide education, social services, and health for some of Kansas City's most vulnerable children and families. Our founders, Sister Berta and Sister Krita, they knew that what happened outside of Operation Breakthrough was just as important as what happened inside. So they provided not only childcare, but they really began to focus on education, social services, and health. It's grown to where now we are one of, if not the largest early childhood development center in the Midwest with roughly 700 children in the program today, ages eight weeks old up to 13 or 14 years old. And on top of that, we work with some of the families that are some of the highest need, most at risk families here in Kansas City. The inspiration for the Ignition Lab was the fact that you know, we had just put in this maker city for our five through 14 year olds. It was opportunity not only to reduce the opportunity gap in STEM, you know, as we provided an array of labs and experiences for kids, everything from virtual arts, fiber arts, coding, robotics, a maker space, life science, digital media, culinary arts, opportunities for kids to figure out what they were passionate about, but also develop those important skills of communication, collaboration, critical thinking. Travis Kelsey sponsored the robotics lab in our current Maker Cities. The minute I walked in the door, I knew that uh, the place was special. And um, I knew that I, I wanted to be a part of what they were doing. And I, I didn't know just exactly how. It means everything to be able to help these kids in this way. You know, the one thing that I did say when I, when I first got here was, man, why is it only to eighth grade? You know, I really wanted to, to find a way to prolong that through high school to give these kids a safe haven and something positive to do towards their goals in life. And I think this Ignition Lab is gonna do just that for the kids and, and, and prepare them for what's after high school. Travis Kelsey stepped up big. He would purchase the building and the land to get us started and helped us with some of the fundraising because, you know, the building's the first part, but renovating it is second and then making sure we have all of the tools and the equipment that kids need. So we have seen support come from all aspects of the community. Black and Beach has been involved from our foundation and continuing through the life cycle. So not only supporting the solar project, we're looking to continue our engagement all the way through uh, STEM education, working hand in hand with the kids when it comes to mentoring and also uh, class participation. We're working very close with Operation Breakthrough in conjunction with several local consortium companies. So you've got JE Dunn, Sun Partners International, uh, Rising Sun, MRI Global, and Black and & Beach. So coming together in partnership and collaboration to bring solar to the uh, Operation Breakthrough facility to help offset electricity and utility bills, as well as bring forth STEM education to provide a living laboratory for the students. Because think about the Ignition Lab, it not only gives that opportunity for higher paying jobs right outside of high school, opportunity for more technical training, but also the opportunity to figure out what pathway you want to take in college. They'll start with a round robin where they figure out what do I want to learn. And so that's everything from digital electronics, robotics and coding, fabrication, automotive and engineering, product design through 3D printing and laser cutting, film and audio, culinary arts, graphic design, and green tech. The Ignition Lab is a great example of what can happen when the community comes together to really put kids first. We've already had groups from major other urban areas around the country reach out to us and they heard what we're doing. They like to know more about it, see what kind of our outcomes have been, and then uh, potentially even copy our operating model, which would be really cool to think that there's ignition labs that are created all over the country because of the success of the program here in Kansas City. I think the biggest thing to be proud of is what's gonna come with the future minds that are being open to engineering, wider career paths, different career choices and opportunities, uh, local employment, reaching back to the next generation and just continuing that cycle. The Ignition Lab is going to show the importance of real world learning. So if you want to see how that impacts our community, come and visit. See what happens when kids are engaged in real things that really matter.